I had a very exciting thing happen today. I went to visit our favorite local thrift store. I have not been there myself since last year. The kids have gone a couple of times, but right after Christmas, I was put on bed rest and then, you know, slowly allowed off of that. And this is my first time back to our favorite thrift store. So that's what, four months? I was super excited and we have a bunch of things that I'm going to show you right now. We hit up the cup section. We have a little bit of a cup problem, I think, <laughs> because we have plenty of these things, but you just can't resist them. And honestly, sometimes these are so expensive that when you see them for like 50 cents and brand new, uh, you can't resist. And so that's, that's what happened. Uh, we ended up with a bunch of these and I think they were all around 50 cents to a dollar each. Um, that's right. Jason right away came home because these did come with logos on them. I think they were donated by a company that had extras because there were different logos from different people. But he came home right away and put on his favorite logo a sticker that we happen to have from our friends at Shepherd's Crook. And um, we still have a discount. If you've never tried their incredible coffee before, go to Shepherd's Crook dot com or is it coffee.com now i'm forgetting i'll put a link for it <laughs> and you can type in crakey 25 if you've never ordered before you can get 25 percent off of our favorite coffee in the world or crakey 10 you can use every time you order um uh regular bags not the big bulk bags anywho moving on okay benjamin found this little water bottle these are all stainless steel we do not like drinking out of aluminum so these are all stainless steel, stainless steel, and he was, are you laughing at me? And no. he was absolutely thrilled to find a little water bottle. This one is an insulated cup, and they also found not one, but three of these. These are brand new in the box. $2 each. $2 a piece, and um, they're very good quality, just very heavy. And, a little bit um, off, yeah, so like I said, we did have cups, but yeah. I don't know if any of you have cup Slide addictions like people in my family do, but you oh, see cool. cups and, or mugs. I only have one. And you just can't help it. <laughs> Silas also picked this one up. So cute. This was James' pick, and actually Lydia got one too, and hers I think she took with her. Um, but this is just a fun stainless steel insulated water bottle with this wooden top that screws on and off. They also picked this, which is dirty because they've already used it, but this again was new. It smells like coffee. Um, it was a dollar. I think it's a little mini French press, which will be very handy when you just want to make one cup size of coffee or tea. Oh, we'll put that with our Shepherd's Crew coffee there. This is something that we've had in the past and we got a second one because they had more of these. Again, new in the box for only 50 cents and these are fantastic. They go right onto the top of a five gallon water jug so that it turns into a um, water, what am I trying to say? A water dispenser. So you just press the button and it just pulls the water up from the bottom and dispenses it out. So when we are working on our shuttle bus, uh, we actually had this whole discussion about what are we going to do if we go places long term for water because we're big water drinkers. This is fantastic. He can cents. just mount an, a five gallon water jug in the shuttle bus so that it doesn't fall over and put this in the top and everybody can fill up their water bottles easily. Super cents. pumped. And it charges with whatever that thing is called. 50 cents. Yeah, that's that. Okay. Moving on. And they also, I don't know why this was there, but it's new and I think it was a uh -huh. dollar. If I'm right about that, um, swim the disposable swim diapers that will be handy. Yeah. A bunch of school ish products were there. Um, these are index cards that was a dollar 25 cents for this thing. What are those things called? Are they protractors or am I, I just forgetting no from school long ago? 25 cents for a memo book refill and this fun. Um, coloring book that was 25 cents. These were also a quarter and they are just some nice little notebooks. Then we've got some glue and a bunch of binder clips. 25 cents for each of those and 50 cents for the bags of big ones. And then this big pack 
was a dollar and it has all different kinds of labels and um yeah i guess those are labels too although honestly i'll probably use them as stickers to keep the little kids busy in an emergency so dollar for all of those okay this is something that the boys found and they actually bought three of these i think they're these fun Four. lights um they do have a little remote control and i believe they were 50 cents and it just makes a fun reflection in their bunk beds. I'm they just thought that would be cool. Yeah. Back here. Oh, is this? This was that. I think they came in they were yeah. multiple. Um, yeah, lights they bought four of them. All the kids. Okay. And same for here. I don't know. What did this? Th no, this is something totally different, and I don't know where it is. So we need to find it. That's another light. We'll get back to you on that one. Okay. Over here, Leo like mom. This would be fun to play with for the kids. It is an actual robot, and I will show you it in action. It was $1, um, and we looked on Amazon, and they were like $80. I cannot even imagine spending $80 on this thing. Don't do it. That's my advice. It was fun and cool to see it run around, and for a dollar, it was totally um, worth it, but 80 are people crazy? Sorry if you have one of those, but okay. This game of life is brand new and it was 50 cents. 50 cents. Check that out. We've got some people. excited we kids like six here. Peoples. We had a game of life that we'd been given, but it was missing a lot of parts, so that's very exciting. Mm. Okay, books, of course, are always free at this thrift store. I grabbed just a couple of boxcar children, biggest pumpkin ever. We have the biggest snowman ever. Jer so Jeremiah brought that to me. He's like, look, it's the same mice. And then a Leo Leone book. It's mine. I've been hearing this a lot lately. Maybe we really need this book. Maybe it'll be like therapeutic. Also, oh, that's your stuff. Is that what you set it aside? Okay, mm -hmm. we'll get to that. This Lydia, Lydia found this little treasure box, which she's already filled up. It's a little wooden box. Treasures. She filled with her treasures. Bella found these earrings. Uh, we'll have to ask her how much they were. I'm guessing they were probably a quarter or 50 cents. That's a common price there. We also have two packages of these napkins. Elsie is planning a Curious George birthday party for Benjamin because that's one of his favorites. So we thought that would go well. You know, the man in the yellow hat. So we got two packages of napkins. We got some more hangers for 50 cents. And then we got two of these blankets. Um, our, our sweet Aunt Debbie makes these for the kids and they are fantastic to have in our shuttle bus or van or car, wherever, because in the winter they're always warm. And so when they saw two more of them, they're like, mom, we should just get them <laughs> because they were a dollar a piece. And that way we have some extras if we need them. Elsie has been really into taking this care of um, dogs. Dogs, Yeah, if you and need cats. a dog walker, she's cats up for it. especially. So she found, tell us about this. This, mm -hmm. this is uh, training a uh, Cavalier uh, King Charles Spaniel, but also you could g generally like training just any dog. Okay. And it, since it was free, it was great too. Okay. And, then, and then Bella showed me these. For if the dog doesn't have a collar, you can just clip the leash oh, on there. So and then a smaller on. one. Uh -huh. Yeah. And There's, how much were those? Uh, this one was a quarter. This one was 75 cents. Okay. And then a harness for 25 cents. Probably I'm probably gonna use it for Stormy. Nice. But rabbit. And then this comb, um, I asked them the price, and they sh they asked me uh, to show me their purse, and then they stuck it in. So. <laughs> oh, stuck it in. Yeah. Your show them your purse. That's yeah. cute. And, and another collar for twenty five cents. Did we say that one already? No. No. Really cute collar. Yeah. The collar. So she's stocking up on supplies. She also got this stationery pack. Pen pals. She has a lot of pen pals. And envelopes. That was a dollar for a new stationery pack. And then. Okay. So for. Oh. Actually, there's a couple more um, school supplies I didn't notice. This is a pack of five highlighters for a dollar. This little calculator they gave to Benjamin. Um, he's just really into that. And a ruler. And I think that's it for the school supplies. This was a dollar. Yes, I did say that. That's oh. good. You'll have fun with that. Okay, mm -hmm. we got two pairs of shoes. These were a dollar seventy-five and a dollar. And then as far as the clothes, we've got two pajama sets. I'm not sure if they will fit Jeremiah or James, but I just went ahead and brought them home. Kids clothes is a quarter, adult clothes is 50 cents. So we've got two cotton pajama sets there. I found two t-shirts for Lydia. 
she just is a t-shirt and shorts girl. So I've got these two for her and this little pair of shorts for her. I also found a pair of shorts in Elsie's size. And Elsie has been doing some tie-dyeing. Grandma gave us a tie-dye kit. And so she tie-dyed shirts for the girls and then the boys wanted tie-dye shirts too. So we got one more, I found one more plain white t-shirt there. Got my fit me. Yeah, which was nice for a quarter. Um, we're just trying to gather enough t-shirts for all the boys. White t-shirts are not something I normally keep around because, you know, it's stained up in one day of playing. But for tie-dye, it's perfect. For Bella, I found these um, pajama pants. They are such a soft material. I'm just a texture person and soft clothes is a win for me. This dress, help me with Jeremiah, spread that out. There we go, thanks. This is an Elsie size, so I thought that would be really comfortable in the summer just for a play dress. And then Bella found this top for herself. She said she just thought it would be so pretty to have for a party or something that was um, really dressy. It has these flared sleeves and she tried on, it looks so cute on her. She also found, you know, she loves her plaid flannels. So she found this one. It is a really nice thick flannel. So she'll probably save it for the winter because today it's like 90 degrees in April. Missouri. Missouri is crazy. Leo said it got to 91 on our thermometer. Yeah. Um, this was James. My kids are always looking for what they call cowboy shirts. Always looking for some nice plaid shirts. So he was really glad to find that. Sorry, my kids just walked in and they are noisy, noisy. Silas found this. This is going to look really good on him. Yeah. A nice button-up Wrangler. Good. Okay, Jason brought me the light. He said he already had it in his bag. This actually can clip on your computer. Yeah, here, I'll take that, buddy. Um, Thank you. Which gives it, how does it turn on? Oh, like that. Which lights you up, and this will be fantastic because he does Zoom calls often. And when he's in his home office, <laughs> it's kind of dark in there, so. This. Yeah, so this will be a great addition to that. I know. Aren't those things so cool? I did show them. I think I got everything. We also got a super cute baby. Wait, did you already live here? Okay, we're going to show you how this thing works. Imagine that's a five gallon. That comes out that really incredible? fast, actually. <laughs> They're so cool. I can see that would be a real temptation for little kids. <laughs> But it might really encourage me to drink more water this summer. Yeah, maybe. Hey. We'll have to get a glass five gallon then. Mm. Does anybody want to show the people Mine. what's in the bucket? Okay. Me. Okay. Me. <laughs> it's in the okay. Right okay. And that baby okay? wore like Woo. there like oh, there. Yes, we mm -hmm. found an orphan squirrel. It's sleeping. <laughs> Actually, Leo noticed something in our, our mama moved, dogs. Oh, that's right. They moved it. Okay. I have it. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so this little baby Martin. was orphaned. It's a boy. No, baby one. Baby squirrel. Yes, baby squirrel. And actually, um, it was so crazy because Leo and I were outside, and he said, I see something in our mama dog's mouth, and it was, it was the mama squirrel. And then while we were standing there, this little squirrel just ran right up to him. And he squatted down and crawled right up to his hand. It's hungry. He loves. So they have been feeding it some colostrum that we had in the freezer Cow's from our colostrum. cow. Oh, was it? Look at his little tail. Yeah. Yeah. And it's getting can't little say it's baby it's getting wolf. Lots of love, and his name is Martin. Do well, but I'm your That's baby mom. What, buddy? Baby so, mom, you're a baby have, right yeah, now. I know. Baby, I have baby, baby too, Martin. don't you? Oh. Yeah. He's hungry. Eat. Eat. Oh, oh, oh. Can you give me an apple or something? Dummy, dummy, dummy. That baby you eats too. Everett, yeah. a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Baby squirrels and baby <laughs> babies. <laughs> A place that feels tight. I have a pocket.